What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. We got Fonzo here. We got Savage Scott back there. We got uh, most of the squad. Unfortunately, Chris couldn't make it. So, but I miss you, bud. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I miss you. Yeah. He obviously doesn't yeah. miss you, obviously. No, <laughs> Chris, we love you, man. We love you. Look, what's behind us? What's yeah. going on over there? Uh, huge ass <laughs> as you can see. So, uh -huh. yeah, we're about to do this. Golden Apple Comics, John Carpenter signing. Uh, what are we, anything else you got to do? No, man, we're just getting in line, and uh, hopefully we get everything signed. That's what we're hoping for, and uh, really we'll meet the man. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So. Yeah, so, see you guys. <laughs> Ready to go in, man? Let's do this. <laughs> Cemetery, my boy. See, look, that's going to take the pictures. Nice. Dude, so you guys need to go for it. Woo! We're at Next. Uh, Hollywood Forever oh, Cemetery. Yeah, man, check it out. I have a little bit of living. Look at that, check it out. We got zombies, we got dogs, we got Hollywood. We got everything here, man. It's going to be awesome. We got hundreds of people. They ain't dead, though. Yeah, that's right. This thing is going to be back here. we're about to check out this photo booth here. I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Got some should be pretty machine. cool. Like, I think I see some really cool looking. Yeah, it looks cool. Let's check it out. Hey, Fonzo, what you doing? year of screenings at this beautiful Hollywood landmark. And tonight is our last screening of the year. It's something we do every year because this is our favorite season. It's Halloween season, y'all. And what a special movie we have tonight. Before we start, I want to ask a question. Did you guys like the music? Anyone like the music tonight? Can we please give it up for our DJ tonight? We're so lucky to have him. He's one of the founders of Dub Club, Punky Reggae Party, so many other nights in LA. Please give a warm round of applause for Boss Harmony. Give it up for Boss Harmony, y'all. We'd also like to thank our partners, DTS, for making it sound so good. We'd especially like to thank our season partners, Amazon Studios. We're gonna watch a trailer tonight for one of their upcoming films, with one of our favorite directors, Richard Linklater, and a great cast. Hope you guys check it out. We'd also like to thank Freshenet for keeping the champagne flowing. Everybody get champagne tonight? Free champagne, thank you. What a great movie we're about to watch. It's so important to us here at Cinespia, and George Romero was one of our favorite directors of all times. 
we did cold call him a few years ago, and he was so excited that we wanted to show his movie in a cemetery. And I know he'd really want to be here tonight, and it's sad to say that we lost him this summer. But we want to fondly dedicate this screening to the great director, George Romero. Thank you, George. We love you. He is getting his star placed on Hollywood Boulevard on Wednesday. And one of his good friends is going to be there to present it. And we're lucky enough to have that good friend of George Romero here with us tonight. Most of you, just judging from this crowd, know him as the writer and director of Shaun of the Dead. He also directed so many great movies like Hot Fuzz, The World's End, Baby Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, writer-director Edgar Wright. How you doing, Hollywood Forever? It's a very blinding light at the front here. Um, this is a, uh, uh, when George passed away in July, it's a terribly sad, and, uh, in fact, the last email I conversation I had with him, uh, was about his, uh, Hollywood star, because I heard that he was getting a, a star on the Walk of Fame, and I emailed him to say, when is the ceremony? I've got to be there. And he emailed me back, and, you know, jokingly, he said, he goes, you are the only person who cares about this. <laughs> That's not true, is it, guys? <laughs> okay, well... I, if you want to come down and support George, his ceremony on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is on Wednesday morning where he gets his, rightfully gets his star on that sidewalk up there. Um, now, the thing about this, obviously it's terribly sad that George passed away and with so much more to give, but he does leave an incredible legacy, uh, you know, behind him because... Night of the Living Dead is not the first zombie movie. You know, that credit goes to White Zombie and I Walk With a Zombie. And then later there's Plague of the Zombies. But Night of the Living Dead is the most influential zombie movie. And it was made, I think they shot it 50 years ago this year. It came out in 1968. It was made on a budget of 150000 George Romero's first film made with his friends in advertising. Um... And the thing is, it's true to say, and nobody can dispute this, is that without Night of the Living Dead, there would be no other, like, Italian zombie movies. There would be no Return of the Living Dead. There would be no Michael Jackson's thriller. There would be no Resident Evil. There would be no Dead Rising. There would be no Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> there would be no Walking Dead. And also, there would be no Shaun of the Dead. And then I wouldn't be standing here in Hollywood right now if it wasn't for George Romero. So, we have to give it up for the man. Um, this is a very influential film. This is the new 4K restored version, which I haven't even seen, so I'm excited to see it. I'm not sure I've ever seen this. Um, I've never seen this on the big screen, I think. Um, I've certainly never seen it in a cemetery, and I've never seen it with 4,000 people. Also, possibly the best Hollywood Forever movie because it starts in a cemetery. Um, there's not much. I'll, I'll, I'll get off the stage and, and we'll get on with it. But um, what's also amazing about this film is like uh, the, the classic zombie film, which never features the word zombie. They never say it out loud. They say ghouls, but they never say the Z word, uh, which is why in Shaun of the Dead we never said the Z word either in tribute to George. Um, also, you know, like, it's true to say that, like, um, you know, this year, Jordan Peele, who's a huge fan of George Romero, made uh, Get Out, which was a smash hit. And 50 years ago, this was the first horror film with an African-American lead. You know, hugely progressive movie. You know, one of the biggest independent films of all time. Um, and I don't think we should have a minute's silence for George. But I think, at the very least, in his memory, we should have a short, masked, zombie groan, starting now, starting with this guy. <laughs> and now, all together, three, two, one. That's good. Remember, zombies don't say brains. And they don't run. George Romero decreed it. 
they should be showing slow and shambling. Anyway, that's enough from me. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm excited to watch this with you. Let's give it up for the master of horror, George A. Romero, and let's watch Night of Living Dead. Thank you. All right, everyone, I'm back home, and here is John Carpenter's Tales for a Halloween Night, Volume 3, signed by everybody, as you can see, Golden Apple Comics. Uh, John Carpenter has been doing this signing um, for about the past three years, and he's been doing a signing at Golden Apple for the past five years. So if you guys uh, you know, haven't met him or you wanted to meet him in general, keep an eye out every, you know, around October, you know, Halloween season. They're uh, most likely going to do, you know, keep doing these. So, yeah, as you can see, it's signed by everybody. Pretty freaking cool. There's John, Sandy King, Steve Niles, of course, Tim Bradstreet is on here. Everybody's uh, signature is on here, so pretty freaking cool. Can't wait to read this one. I already have volumes one and two. All great books, and I can't wait for uh, to read this new one. Next up, I got my They Live 11 by 17 poster signed. Not only by John Carpenter, but also Sandy King Carpenter, who was script supervisor on this one. So, pretty freaking awesome to add this. I already have two different uh, The Thing posters signed by John, so adding this one to the uh, John Carpenter movie collection. Next up, got my Halloween 11 by 17 also adding to the uh, John Carpenter 11 by 17 poster collection. As you can see, he signed it there. Pretty freaking cool. You can never go wrong with Halloween, one of my absolute favorite horror movies of all time. It's just a classic. Can't go wrong. Okay, guys, obviously, as you guys saw, after the Golden Apple Comics uh, John Carpenter signing, we went to uh, Hollywood Forever Cemetery to check out the Night of the Living Dead 4K restoration screening. Freaking amazing. I had a blast, and they were doing this cool photo op. Uh, which me and my buddy uh, Fonzo kind of wandered off and decided to we wanted to check it out. Check this shit out. Tell me that's not like one of the coolest freaking photos you've ever seen. They were doing this and you can purchase some. I believe they were like 10, 10 a piece. So yeah, and it's black and white. I mean, it's it looks vintage, you know, it's freaking amazing. Couldn't ask for anything else. I had a blast with all my friends, Fonzo, Scott, Liz, Matt, um, just two great events in one day, you know, checking out a signing and a, uh, a screening. I mean, what more do you want? Okay, guys, having said all that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Had a fun time with the squad, hanging out with everybody. Check out my buddy Fonzo13's, uh, his version of this video. Uh, he recorded a bunch of cool stuff as well, so I'll definitely leave the link to his channel down in the description so you guys can check his video out. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next one.